Earthrise, Apollo 8 and the Photo that Changed the World. Written by James Gladstone, illustrated by Christy Lundy. For all of us down here on Earth, with special thanks to everyone at OKB for getting this one off the ground so quickly. 1968, it was a year of unrest. Many nations were at war. People around the world marched for peace, fairness, freedom. They struggled to find the best way to live together. Amid this conflict rose one shining moment captured in a photograph, a picture that forever changed the way we saw ourselves and our world. The light was breaking through clear open skies. It was a perfect morning for a launch. The Saturn V rocket towered above the launch pad, the Apollo 8 spacecraft perched on top. Three astronauts, Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders, walked toward the mighty metal ship that would whisk them far into outer space, farther than anyone had gone before. The Apollo 8 crew was going to the moon. Cars clogged the roads, spilling over with anxious onlookers. Millions of people listened in on radios. They gathered around TVs. Could human beings really reach the moon? What would they see when they got there? There was sound like thunder, rumble and roar. The crowd stood their ground while all the ground shook. The Saturn V engines had burst into life. We have liftoff! Gracefully, powerfully, the rocket climbed higher, faster, out of sight, pushing Apollo 8 into Earth's orbit. Far above the crystal blue. Soon, the time came to break free from Earth's orbit. No one had ever done this before. The engine fired again, setting Apollo 8 on course for the moon. Four, three, two, light on, ignition, ignition. Mission Control watched the spacecraft speed on their screens. The numbers got bigger as the rocket raced faster. Then, just as planned, the Saturn V engine shut off and broke away from Apollo 8. Now, the spacecraft was coasting on a human dream, speeding the crew off to another world. The farther they traveled, the more awesome the view. The astronauts saw a whole Earth turning Earth. No countries, no borders, floating in the vastness of space. Everyone they loved was on that tiny blue planet, and it was shrinking, getting smaller each time they looked. On their third day out, the crew put on a show. They pointed a TV camera toward Earth. The picture, all crackly, black and white, went out around the world. Everyone who watched was amazed by this mysterious sight. Soon after the broadcast, the astronauts arrived. The moon came into view. The spacecraft dipped into orbit and the crew got to work taking pictures of the rocks and craters below. Later, back on Earth, scientists would study those images, searching for the best sites to land future missions. Once, twice, three times around the moon, the crew's eyes were locked on the pocked and scarred lunar surface. The fourth time around, they all looked up. Look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? Oh man, that's great. You got a color film, Jim? Hurry, quick, hurry up. Earth, a soft swirl of color, an oasis of life, was rising above the lifeless rock of the moon. Anders captured what they saw in a photograph. It was a picture of us all, to be remembered for all time. The photo that changed the world. The Apollo 8 mission was a huge moment in human history. Astronauts Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, and Bill Anders were the first people ever to see the whole round Earth from space, the first people ever to fly to the moon. And when the crew saw Earth rise above the moon, Frank Borman described it as the most beautiful, heart-catching sight of his life. The Earth rise photo captured that beauty for everyone back home who couldn't take that journey into space. But Earth rise showed us more. Earthrise helped us to see our world for what it is, 
A planet without borders, a home to all peoples, a life-sustaining wanderer through space. This new vision of our world was so powerful that it inspired the first Earth Day, which we still celebrate today. In a time when people still struggle to live together in peace, that picture of the rising Earth is as powerful now as it was in 1968. To the crew of Apollo 8, the Earthrise message was clear. Earth really is one world. What message does Earthrise send to you?